Hello and welcome again to Real to Real. I'm Ken Lancaster at Cathedral High School. We had planned to bring you an encore edition of Real to Real, spotlighting some of the 40 agencies, ministries, and programs served by the annual Catholic Appeal. We still plan to do that, but the tragic events of this past week in which the life of a student who so personified the mission of this school was in one unfortunate moment ended, of course, take priority. Here's Real to Real's Steve Kiltonic. On March 13th, Connor Reynolds, a 17-year-old senior at Cathedral High School, was fatally stabbed in the neck while attempting to break up a fight at a private party. Immediately after the murder, prayer services were held in the school chapel. Students expressed their sentiments on the memory wall and received counseling as they attempted to cope with the tragic loss of a well-liked and respected classmate with the infectious smile. On March 15th, nearly a thousand friends, faculty, family, and members of the community gathered in the school auditorium for a candlelight vigil to grieve but also to celebrate the life of Connor, who was a star soccer player. Emmanuel Vasconcelos, Cathedral's campus minister, organized the event, which included prayers, music, and an outpouring of emotion from those who knew Connor. Springfield Bishop Timothy A. McDonnell addressed the group and consoled Connor's family. One day we shall see him again. In the meantime, there's the sorrow and the sadness. And yet in the meantime, there's the coming together as there is tonight and the support we find in one another. Connor's father, Liam, thanked everyone for attending the vigil. I never knew how many people loved my son, Connor. He had a huge impact on everybody who met him. And he's really a special person, and we'll never forget him. We'll always love him. One by one, people came forward to offer some words of encouragement, including the parents of three children murdered in Springfield. Mario Hornsby Sr. lost his son, a star basketball player, who was shot to death in 2008. Once again, someone so young so dear to this family, it's now taken from them for a senseless act of violence. Connor's soccer buddies and others shared their memories of Connor. I was always told, be careful, he's crazy on the soccer field. So I always stayed away from him. <laughs> but Connor was an inspiration to all. It was here on Cathedral's soccer field where Connor truly shined. He played four years for coach Joe Pantusco and made All-State last fall. Those who played both with and against Connor described him as fun-loving, unselfish, and a fierce competitor with a natural gift for the game. You always saw a smile when you went on the field, every time. I remember one time we were, just, we were playing a game and he started to run backwards, tripped over himself, broke his arm. <laughs> Two days later, he was back on the field, like nothing, nothing happened. He was back out, and that's what he loved doing. I was defending him, and remember he had the ball, he ran up to me, did a 360 and put it between my legs, and I, <laughs> I fell right over. And uh, that was the kind of kid Connor was. He was, it's always a blast, uh, amazing soccer player. Alex Mackey was one of Connor's boyhood friends growing up in Springfield's Forest Park section. Both attended Holy Name School. Amazing kid. So much talent. Athletic. Best soccer player I ever knew. I can't ever recall a bad memory of him. It was always fun being around him. He always cheered me up. Perry Lampkins, Connor's religion teacher, read a proposal Connor wrote for a service project that reflected his character. I want to take it serious this year and do a lot to help people in need. I, I feel that because I have been blessed with everything I have, I should share it with people. And that's, that's the kind of person Connor was. You can read Perry Lampkin's reflections on our blog, Western Mass Catholic Voices. You'll find a link on our website, iobserve.org. Faculty and administrators spoke of the tight-knit cathedral family. I told the kids today that it's going to take the community of Cathedral to get us through this, and, and they're grasping that. And as you saw tonight, they did that. They came together. 
Since the vigil, the Fusion Bar and Grill in Springfield, where about 200 people attended the private party where Carter was stabbed, was found to be operating illegally and has been ordered closed by the city. On March 16th, 20-year-old Eric Denson of Springfield was arrested without incident at his home in the death of Reynolds. He pleaded not guilty on charges of murder and assault and battery by means of a dangerous weapon, a knife. Recognizing that the March 13th murder of Connor Reynolds has impacted the entire school community, Cathedral High School has arranged for a trauma response team from the Behavioral Health Network to offer two workshops next week. On Tuesday, March 23rd at 7 p.m., the BHN team will hold a meeting for parents in the school auditorium. The next day, a special session will be held in the afternoon for teachers. The wake for Connor was held at Hafey Funeral Home in Springfield. Funeral services were held here at Holy Name, the church where Connor was baptized and confirmed. For Real to Real, I'm Steve Kiltonic.